This weekend, I rewatched Speed Racer, and while enjoying the colorful, visual spectacle and goosebump inducing ride that is Speed Racer, I remembered how the T180 cars featured in the movie have four independently rotating wheels that allow the car to drive in a unique way. So after doing some research, I found that some car companies have been working to implement this type of steering known as all-wheel steering or four-wheel steering. However, these companies implement only a few degrees of turning freedom on the rear wheels to increase the turning radius of the car and stability when changing lanes. I was not interested in a few degrees of turning freedom. I was interested in the T180's ability to strafe sideways around corners without slipping the wheels, which would allow the car to accelerate since the rear wheels are not skidding. Unlike in a drift, since the rear wheels are skidding and not providing maximum force to the car. And in addition to the possibility of increased cornering speeds, I was also interested in its ability to do 360 spins on track without altering its course. I found that NASA created a vehicle called the Modular Robotic Vehicle, or MRV, which, similarly to the T180, could rotate each wheel independently for 180 degrees. However, I cannot find any released research from NASA on the benefits of all-wheel steering on cornering speeds. Therefore, I decided to perform my own experiment to see whether all-wheel steering, or AWS, provides any improved performance while cornering. Also, it should be noted that rally cars drift around corners because it is faster for them because they race on dirt tracks which have loose surfaces and low grip. Before I build a real scale model, I've decided to use a computerized physics simulation in the form of Kerbal Space Program to test the plausibility of the idea. Before I show you the results of my tests, we need to establish an understanding of the difference between front wheel steering and all wheel steering and the benefits of all wheel steering. Front wheel steering is found in the majority of consumer cars where only the front two wheels are used to control the direction of the car. It is used because it is inherently stable, unlike rear wheel steering which tends to want to spin, which is why when you go in reverse, you are able to J-turn or pull a 180 much easier than when you are going forward with a front wheel steering car. All wheel steering is where the rear wheel set is used in conjunction with the front wheel set to steer the car, which will allow for unique driving modes. The car can use the front two wheels to steer normally. It can turn the front wheel set and back wheel set in opposite directions to decrease the turning radius, steer all four wheels in the same direction to strafe, or create a diamond with the four wheels to spin at a single point. The following clips demonstrate how a traditional front wheel steering car takes a 90 degree corner and a 180 degree hairpin and how a theoretical all-wheel steering race car might strafe around the turns to get faster cornering speeds. Hamilton struggling is still sat in a very nice position as well. Okay, that was clean. Dude, what the heck? That's clean. That was clean. As you can tell from my excitement, these KSP tests had promising results and show that it is possible to create an AWS vehicle that can take 90 degree turns and hairpins just like T180 cars. Now, I will begin designing and constructing a scale model of an all-wheel steering vehicle to test the idea. If you enjoyed this discussion and want me to continue with this style of the video, please let me know in the comments and make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.